Welcome back, mitochondrians, to the Scott Spot. I'm Detective Scott, and you're watching Parasite Eve. Okay, so uh, we last episode we did all the preparations to begin the Chrysler building, and this time we are going to actually go there. All I can think of every time I hear Chrysler building is that uh, NYC song and Little Wharf and Annie. Um, it's like uh, at one point Annie says something like, "It's higher than the Chrysler building." <laughs> But, without further ado, let's just begin. The Chrysler Building. Does that mean it's like the Christ, like the car Chrysler? Is that like their building? Isn't it like one of the highest buildings in the world? Who knows. Okay, so this is actually like a pretty cool looking dungeon. It's like a really neat floor, or setup. I don't know if that's like actually how this place looks. But anyway, the Chrysler Building is 77 floors of terror. <laughs> so yeah, we gotta go through 77 floors of this shit. This is the first floor. I guess I need a key. I don't know what this is supposed to be a statue of, but basically, um, I'll explain more in a minute, but you can use that elevator to skip floors once you've been to them. But the thing is, every floor except for the 10th on the Chrysler building is randomly generated. Um, so, for example, every one starts off with a straight hall like this. You can see we got a little bit of slime here. And then from there, the layout is almost completely random. Uh, there are, are a set number of layouts that you can use. Looks like we got Rat 2s here, so this should be easy. There are new enemies in the Chrysler building, though, but just so you know. One shot, one kill. Um, so yeah, this is actually, floors 1 through 10 is the best place to um, collect junk. Uh, other than the trick in Central Park that I showed you guys. In fact, there are um, crows, a new type of crow. Alright, so I haven't been able to find any good maps of the Chrysler Building, but I'm using the official Parasite Eve strategy guide uh, made by Brady Games. And it has this system that lets me see like what floor I'm probably on. So I know from my map system that this set of floors starts with a left turn. And here we have, um, Bat 2s. Hopefully I can get past this without getting any kind of... Nope, that didn't work. No, I, I don't waste all those bullets. Maybe I can just... At least the blind wore off really quickly. No need to take all that. So what the way the map system works is it tells me that you know, it has them divided off into your first turn, so there's a set of maps that begin with a left turn. So I'm going to turn left here, and then I know that I'm in a T intersection going down. So I just look at the maps, and I look at the intersections, and I know that I'm in... maybe. Hold on, i got to find it. Oh yeah, okay, so I know that I'm in a T-intersection going down, right? Right. So, actually there's only one map in this set, so I know that if I go left here, it's going to be a dead end. Even though these, it randomly picks the map set. Yeah, oh wait, it's not a dead end. What the hell? Is there different ways to go? Okay, so see, now I'm just confused. Uh... One second. Alright, so maybe they just didn't get all the maps, so I guess I'm just gonna have to explore this floor and not be able to navigate it as efficiently. Alright, so let's go start off going up, I guess. We got a Trudon 2 and a Bat 3. Or a Bat 2. Whichever. Well, I was really lucky that that didn't hit me. Yeah, so on floors 1 through 10, um, the monsters are a Bat 2, a Trudon 2, a Crow 3, and a Rat 5. So we are looking for... Okay, now where are we? See, it's just kind of random, like it all starts to look the same after a minute. What is this? Yeah, it looks like there's definitely an Eve here. <laughs> or something. 
Looks like maybe the slime monster didn't get completely destroyed. Or maybe Eve hung out here for a while. So on every floor there is an elevator that you can use to get, go back down to the bottom if you need to. And there is also a storage room. And the storage room is what we're looking for before we go back up because um, the storage room is where all the, the good treasure is. Oh, another dead end. See, each one of these floors is like a damn maze. Hopefully that's not how the Chrysler building is set up in real life. I'm just gonna keep running around trying to find the damn thing. Okay, so I reached a dead end, so now I need to go all the way back. So let me fast forward back to the last intersection I was at. Okay, this is where we went wrong last time, so I guess we'll try going down this time. Yeah, the map I have. I don't think I have the map for this floor. Which is pretty annoying. Alright, let's try going right here. I wish I had the, uh, some kind of... I wish I could stream this, since this is kind of like one of the more... It's probably going to be a pretty boring series of episodes, at least. Until the end. Hopefully my memory also holds out on where the hell we are. I like that little bench on the side there. Oh, okay, so I found the exit, I think. So there's the exit. But we don't want to go to the exit yet, because there's still a storage room on this floor. So we go back to the last intersection, and we came from the left here, I believe, so let's try going down. Hopefully it's not a dead end. And just a straight hole. And it just keeps going on. Let's try going left here. I'm like mentally mapping this place in my head. Oh, a path leading up. See, I forget what I'm supposed to be looking for on the, for the storage rooms. So I don't know if they're like hidden at all, or I'll find an obvious door. And this floor is sprawling. Oh, here we go. Storage room. So let's head in. Alright, so there is a set of specific treasures in each storage room, but they're ran it's randomized which set you get. So as long as you go into the storage room on every floor, you should be able to find each one easily. Nothing to it, but to do it. Alright, so these, this little armory contains an M16A2 rifle, which has decent stats. Um, there should also be a tool and a CR evade plus one through four in here. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and use the CR evade on Corey. And let's see, what else? Oh, also, it's really important not to use any tools on any of the equipment here until I give you guys a go ahead. So, just wait on that. Alright, so now we need to make our way back to the uh, staircase upward. And I can't believe how long it took for us to get through one floor, but that was mostly because I think the Brady Games guy didn't include a map of this room. But I can't really fault them, because they did include like a really good set of maps. And I looked online, and I couldn't find like any kind of better resource to navigate this building. Then go down here, I believe. And then... Take the staircase up. And <laughs> all that... Wait... Wasn't the staircase down here? Maybe I need to go up one more time. Don't tell me I'm freaking lost again. I could have sworn that we went down there, and that was where the staircase was. Right? Unless I'm finally losing it. Let's try going right here. Ooh. 
But we got a battle first. One bullet for each to do it. Nailed it. Oh, I don't I don't actually want those. Here, I'll keep one just so I can use it to heal myself real quick. Actually, I'm going to wait till I take a little bit more damage just in case. I can always throw it away later if I don't need it. Oh, all of a sudden it's throwing the battles at us, trying to keep us from proceeding to the next floor, I guess. Just more rat threes. Or rat fives or whatever. There's one enemy that's freaking off screen. Oh shit, that's the crow. Alright, so those are the blue crows. Now, if you don't use the trick... I think I should talk about the, the crows right now. If you don't use the trick I taught you guys in Central Park to get junks, the blue crows are actually the best source of junk in the game. Um, let's see. There's something I have to say about that. Um, uh, shit. Sorry, I'm looking at my guide. Or, the guide that I wrote for myself. Um... Okay, so apparently the mo you can find crows the most easily on the second floor, which is this floor. Holy fuck, I got completely turned around. I'm back at floor one. That was the entrance. Motherfucker. Uh, okay, well... Let me just find this damn staircase. Back at the storage room. So if this is a dead end, I don't. I feel like I've traveled every path. Nope, there's the stairs. <laughs> I just needed to go like two more screens further from the storage room. Jeez. All right, and that's the first floor of the Chrysler Building. So you guys uh <laughs> understand what to do now? All right. Um. I was debating on not showing me climbing the whole Chrysler building because it's kind of repetitive, but I decided that, you know, that's it's part of the game, I should show it to you guys. So uh, we'll continue climbing the Chrysler building as we continue on, and hopefully I'll have... This will go a lot quicker once I get the maps, or I find a map that actually works. Um, the, the Brady Games guys should have it in there, but maybe it, that was just like one floor they missed or something. So next time we'll start with floor two. And I'll talk about the junk trick I was talking about with the, the blue crows next time. Um, thanks again, Mitochondrians, for hanging out with me, Detective Scott, at the Scott Spot. Check you next time.